everybody, welcome to Duff the Beer News. We are coming to you live from Edison High School in the prime state of Fresno. Yes, I am aware of what I said. Today, we are going to be talking about the recent game between the Rams and the Raiders in their preseason. Rams won 24 to 21, and unfortunately, this is a big, this is a real, real huge, you know, letdown for all the Raiders fans. So they won by a score of over three, and the Raiders were obviously upset by this. And now for the news on education. Fresno Unified School District still has no superintendent, although there are people running. No results have been reported yet, and nobody has been elected into the superintendent's chair. And regarding the superintendent and Fresno Unified, teachers are planning a walkout, or rather, how you could say, for lack of a better term, a sort of riot or protest. Nothing violent or anything, but it's just regarding the funds, the the funds for school and how there still has been no agreement on it and things are just kind of teetering on a balance it's a little bit tense right now but hopefully it will have a good outcome we're still awaiting further notice and news thank you dahlia for that lovely news about local education now we'll be heading over to francisco for the selling out of the senes for today's top trending news nintendo has been re-releasing the classic super nintendo entertainment system but, as nostalgic fans look to purchase the console, pre-orders are already being closed. Nintendo seems to have not been able to keep up with demand, and there have been shortages for the Nintendo system all around the world. Let's see what others think about the recent delays. So how do you feel about the Super Nintendo Entertainment System? I believe we should uh, get a put, uh, petition and start signing so we can push for more uh, shipments. I think that's a great idea, especially since all of the orders are, are uh, already filled up. So, how do you feel about the SNES 64? Oh, I really want one. You do? Well, I mean, that's unfortunate for you because pre-orders are closed so far. And, um, unfortunately, all the slots have been taken up until next year. Oh, hell! On this health segment of Duff News, we're going to be talking about a new plant that they are starting to farm that is going to possibly have a cure for the polio virus. Now, the polio virus has been a long-standing disease that has been around even at the time of Reagan. Now, what this plant is going to do is it's going to be able to sort of stop polio once people have it, and then it's also going to be able to possibly cure Alzheimer's. This is going to be a big change because while it's also getting rid of polio, it would also decrease the large amount of Alzheimer's population we have. And now for the local economy. Regarding money and stuff like that, it, it's, it basically runs our entire world, and especially if you're a high school senior, there's a lot of stress on acquiring scholarships and getting into college and just all around being prepared for the many things you will face as an adult, which are obviously based around money. But before that, we're going to be talking about the stresses money plays in the life of a senior high school student. Um, not only is you have to pay for senior photos before you even attend your last year of high school, and also there's the, there are things like the senior trip, which costs like several hundred dollars or more. And although some of those things aren't are optional, everybody wants to have a good experience. So many people do try to pay for that by taking jobs, like in fast food restaurants, uh, working landscape work, like one lawns, and things like that. And probably the most infamous bill of being a high school senior is prom. Prom is probably one of the most, it is the most important social event as a high schooler. And pretty much everybody wants to go, even if they say they don't, I mean, but, about, it costs a lot of money to pay for the tickets and for renting tuxes, especially for dresses. If you decide to wear a dress, you have to buy them. So that really puts a hefty bill on your shoulders. So we're just asking you to, if you want to participate in these things, to work, save up, and if you can't, you could still make great memories. In entertainment news this week, George Clooney and his wife have agreed to a donation of $1 million for the fight against hate groups such as neo-Nazis and the KKK. 
The donation comes in light of the recent events in Charlottesville, which saw an unsettling amount of support for said hate groups. The money will go directly towards the Clooney Foundation for Justice. Amal and George Clooney are both proactive human rights advocates, and George Clooney himself said, What happened in Charlottesville and what is happening in our communities across our country demands our collective engagement to stand up to hate. Thank you guys for those lovely newscasts. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Duff News. Join us for another episode next week for even more important news.